Oh my god, why did I literally hit record? I meant to turn off the camera. <laughs> okay, well, I guess the vlog has started. Hey everybody! I am, in fact, trying to grow a mustache. Does it just look like I'm a lazy bum? Yeah, and is that inaccurate? No. Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy, 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 Buy it all. Get your f***ing ass up and join my Patreon. Oh, guys, another week on this planet. I saw some comments about people wanting, like, an updated house tour and, like, more house content. I have really been trying to make a lot of progress on my house and my office. I have actually been using because I have it kind of, like, set up. I mean, let's not get it twisted. I still have so much to do. But I've been shooting some Patreon stuff. Patreon.com slash Chris Clemens. And now I've officially moved my record player into here and I'm putting records here and I've moved a lot of the books over here. I know what bookshelves I want to get here. However, they are a bajillion dollars and so I need to save up before I buy them because I'm not trying to make my bank account any drier than it is. Alright, let's do some organization dolls. Okay, I mean, this really came together. Holy sh This vase I found at Goodwill in Los Angeles is absolutely popping off right now. Also, shout out to these fake tulips. Like, hello? Oh, I'm just obsessed. I have to move this light downstairs as do I do that tree. But like, this is so stunning. This feels so mature. I feel like a boss and I shine like gloss. No, I literally don't know, but I am so excited with where this is going. I love my records down there and being able to just like play a record, then work and then get up and flip it. Like it feels really right in here. Hello mom. Oh my God. We are going to dinner and we're gonna look at some plants and we're just gonna have the best day ever. I love you. I love you. So I just got back from dinner with my mom. It was so fun, and this place that we go to has like a garden shop attached to it. So of course I got more plants. I got this little pot and this succulent, I think is just so cool. And then you guys, I'm so shook. I had a tree in my office in LA that I was obsessed with. I gave it to someone that I love so much. His name is Prince. He has my tree and I loved it. But I got the exact same tree. I found it and there's like five or so different plantlings. So I have like five trees now. So who wants one? Who want a tree? <laughs> it's really exciting because the one I got was obviously much more grown. So it's going to be exciting to kind of get this into a tree. I'm just so excited that I found this ficus triangularis. That's right, I still know Latin, girls. No, I literally don't. It's just the name of the tree. Booker, please, no, 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 no. That's not for you. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good morning. Today I am heading up to New York, but I have to pack and film still. My mom is coming over to film. We are doing a plant tour in my new house because I have so many plants, I've realized. And I also feel like the king of fake plants, so I wanted to show y'all those as well. However, before we film, I have to repot this body, so we're gonna go do that now. Here it is in its little pot. I'm gonna water it now because it was very, very dry. I'm just watering this until it starts to piss out the bottom, girl. Go piss, girl. Oh, sh oh, sh oh, f oh, sh oh, f oh, sh oh, oh, sh yep, go piss, girl. Alrighty, yep, oh dear. I filmed the plant tour. I packed quicker than I ever have, and I didn't realize that they were coming to landscape today and take care of all of my weeds and everything in the front yard. Guys, oh my god. Like, holy shit. Oh my god, this was just all weeds. We made it to New York. I did, in fact, drop my glass water bottle in my kitchen as I was leaving and sliced my thumb open, but we made it. Here's the little room tour. I'm staying at the Soho Grand this time, which is so grand. <laughs> Dark, moody, 
bathroom, that toilet seat combo freaks me out. I'm about to just quickly throw on like a sweatshirt maybe and then I'm going to dinner at my fave place pasties. My friend Erin is meeting me there and we've known each other since kindergarten and I just love hanging out with her so let's get ready. I'm all ready, this is the outfit. Wearing Ricks, some entire studios, some Uglary, Janam, Bottega, some rings, and some champagne on an empty stomach. Why did I put the camera on the nightstand? Guys, here's Erin. She literally canceled a date for me. What did you tell him you had to do? I said my best friend from, from going out this in town, and I Oh, I was hoping for a juicier lie. Hello, everybody. It is Saturday. I just got back from lunch. <laughs> From lunch? <laughs> Just got back from lunch with Luke, also known as Hot Mode on YouTube. However, I just got back to the hotel and changed because I'm going to GovBall because Phineas is performing and gave me a ticket. I keep forgetting that I'm like growing a mustache and I keep thinking it's just sweat, which it is also just sweat, but it is also facial hair. Anyways, let's go to GovBall. It's a video. Oh, <laughs> <you're surprised>. <laughs> we need that. <laughs> Just got back to the hotel and I'm quickly changing because it is one of my besties, Emily's birthday dinners tonight, and I am so Late. Am I wearing the same hoodie I wore last night? I am. Don't want to hear it. I am an outfit repeater, Liz McGuire. I am. Morning party people. Last night was in fact one of the best nights ever. <laughs> After dinner we ended up going to this club called Jeans and we just had such a fun time. Also did I wear the hotel slippers out of the hotel? Yeah, I 100% did that. I was literally out thinking god I wish I had my vlog camera and I did. Anyways, for once this is not sweat. This is rain. It's finally raining a ton here. <laughs> I went to go pick up two pieces of art that I got framed. One of them I just got UV glass put on. And then I went and got pots for this plant that we're gonna repot. One of the things that I got framed was an Anna Delvey print um, she did while in prison. <laughs> It's just like the scene from Morocco. She drew that. Just thought it was kind of funny, something I was interested in. I got this frame. I'm thinking of putting it in my front bathroom. And then the second one is the signed Andrew Wyeth print that I had in my kitchen. I realized that the sun shines through here every morning. It's just this like sketch that he did of a woman in bed with a dog and like, if that isn't me and Booger, I don't know what is. Why does this look so crooked? Is it crooked in the frame? Yeah, this looks crooked in the frame. Oh. So these are the three pots that I bought to split this one up. This pot is for my mom. So let's repot. I was gonna record me potting these and then the rain got really bad so I had to like close my garage door and the lighting was awful. Here is one of them and I love the pot it's in and all of that. Here's another one of mine which in this pot I think looks so gorgeous. I think I might put it in my bedroom. This one is my mom's. I gave her a pretty nice big one with a little one to grow. And then, oh my god, there was a fourth little one, so I put it in this old Loewe candle thing that I drilled a hole in the bottom of. And that is literally so cute, I could die. Do you need to clean up my garage and shut the door before everything in here gets flooded because everything is already so wet, so 
I, I really have to go. Actually, there's a lot of water in here. Howdy, y'all. So, there is a minor league baseball team in Delaware called the Blue Rocks. And my mom got, like, two tickets through work or something. I'm not sure. So, I am about to pull up to meet her. And today, I got a kind little PR package from the brand Coach. And one of the things they sent me was this bag. And this just gives me such my mom vibes. And so, I want to, like, surprise her with it. And also, I love that there's a C on it so she knows the initial of her favorite child. I have a little present for you. Oh my god. Isn't it so you? Where did you get it? I've seen it. They sent it to me. Coach sent it. Oh my god. I know. I thought you would love it. Oh my god. I love you. I love you. Shocker, but I'm on my way to New York. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, the way that that is just a motherfucking slogan at this point. I'm recording an episode of Unhinged with Chris Clemens with Morgan from Two Hot Takes, and then tomorrow I am doing the Two Hot Takes podcast. So I had to get a hotel last minute, and so I'm staying at the Moxie downtown. I just went to call them to see if my room was ready by chance, and guys, this is the most insane answering. Just, just listen. Oh, hey, thanks for calling Moxie NYC oh, downtown. Hey. We are thrilled that you want to chit chat, so here's the scoop. To crash with us in Booker Room, <laughs> please visit for all things fun, food, and beverage, as well as booking your large. What? What millennial wrote that script? What? I. I am ashamed to be a millennial. I'm here with my high school bestie, Katie. And we're going to Nobu, and we are going to taste test everything. I almost forgot, but I didn't. Crispy rice, spicy tuna, gluten-free. A bajillion out of ten. I fear that I am dripping wet from this. It is absolutely amazing, and I'm not talking sweat vibes. We have the grapefruit martini. Oh, oh my god. That is just pink vodka. That... <laughs> Wowza bowza! That was strong! I mean, Jesus, I feel like I just did poppers. Next up, we have the honey baby corn truffle, or some amalgamation of all of those words together. I have a baby corn, a fat f***ing kernel, and then cilantro. This is what people should be talking about. We have wagyu tacos and crab tacos. This is the crab. Here we have the black cod miso, which I already know that I am about to bust, baby. <laughs> if I believed in heaven, it would be like eating a piece of it. Here we have the grilled chicken with anti-cucho sauce. This sauce makes my anti-cucci so wet. Diesel invited me to their Pride event, and oh my god, Glenn Martins is gonna be there. However, they are dressing me for it, so I'm heading to a fitting right now with Nikki and Jay. I've got Nikki some matcha, and I think it's right here, so I am gonna go, but I'm sweating like nobody's business. I have an order for Miss Nikki Jay! Hey guys, we have these cargos and this shirt. <laughs> and, and this skirt. Ooh! And this pussy. <laughs> I am gonna try other stuff and then see what we like. All right, next we have these brown pants that I love, except I do think it's gonna be one of those white chicks moments where the button will pop and kill someone. Canadian tuxedo that looks like crocodile. Oh, I think this is it, honey. Am I gonna sweat like a rabid dog? Yes. So I'm back at the hotel. I have the look for Thursday. I planned the podcast episode we're recording tomorrow. I have been dissociating here and there. I am just hanging out before I go to dinner. I'm trying everything in my power not to fall asleep because I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm at dinner with Jay and he ordered, what is this? A f***ing Bloody Royale? It comes with a shot with an oyster in it? Guys, why does this look like a pro-life advertisement? <laughs> I mean, what the f*** is this? Nemo didn't die for nothing. Oh my god. It's not that bad. What? <laughs> it's not that bad. You've been like processing this in your mouth for like five to seven business days. Hi, Patreon. Like it is the morning of the event, and I am stopping by Bernard James Studio. I don't know if I ever showed it, but I bought this ring back in November after getting dinner with Nikki and Jay. Oh my god, this is so full circle. We stopped by and I saw this ring. I don't know if I ever showed it, but it's like this ring, but obviously this one's not mine. And it has all these different flowers in different like rose gold, white gold, yellow gold. So I bought it, became obsessed with the brand Bernard James. They just like moved into their private studio and so I stopped by. Guys, I don't even know what's happening. Look 
at these earrings. This is literally a raw diamond on top, a semi-finished diamond in the middle, and a finished one at the bottom. This is what it literally looks like in my ear, and it's so f***ing gorgeous. And then this little earring cuff moment! Together, these are so f***ed up and insane. Bernard! <laughs> no, the blue is stunning, honey. You are so talented. You really are. And I'm not saying that because you're giving me this. Like, what the f***? This one is crazy. Like, you better sleep with your eyes open. I swear to God. It is later in the day from Bernard James's studio visit, and I've uploaded this episode of Unhinged with Chris Clemens that had Morgan from Two Odd Take. Now I have to get ready because the event is soon, and I'm meeting Luke for dinner. I went and got a fresh shave this morning, and it, like, Sucks. <laughs> there were parts under here that were missed. Can't count on straight men for anything. All right, we really do have to get ready. Am I serving Freddie Mercury in this? Like, <laughs> okay, let's really actually get ready. There's a lot of things I'm worried about. Uh, the first of which being if these pants will still fit me from when I had the fitting two days ago because you boys been eating good. Oh my god, wait, these fit better? Question mark? The next debate is if these shoes are gonna work. I needed white boots, but I couldn't find any anywhere. I found these like fear of God. They smell like literally foam that we would use in gym class. They seemed like not boots, not sneakers, and plain and neutral. And wow, I think I hate them with this outfit. It is what it is. Wait, honestly, they don't look awful. Like I said, I ditched the t-shirt for this Calvin Klein sheer tank top. Jacket is on. Oh my god, I'm so excited now that this is... <gasps> I thought I was gonna look so ugly. Wait, guys, I look so hot. Now, I brought these diesel glasses just by pure coincidence, but I think they work perfectly. Tell me I don't look like Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this outfit. Like, oh my god, I look like a fucking sex pot pop star. Oh my god, and the earrings with this. Oh my god. And then here it is with the diesel bag that they loaned me. I've got to take the tag off of it, but I'm really not mad about this look at all. Ah, let's go to dinner. Are you hot limone? Ah, cheers, man. <laughs> the knee brace has you acting different, honey. Guys, this season's hottest accessory. <laughs> I did it before Rick Owens. I'm telling you, Hot Limote is always ahead of the curve. Hi guys, I just got home from the Diesel event. It was so cute. Julia Fox was there and we're mutuals on TikTok and I wanted to say hi to her so bad, but I didn't. I'm back from my hotel room and I've got to get ready for the after party. So let's get ready for the after party. Also, I met Glenn Martins and I made a total fool of myself because I just like walked up and I was like, Hi, I love Y Project and Diesel. You're amazing and well, Girl, like for what? For what? Like, oh my God, why am I so stupid? Now, Diesel gave me one of their outfits from the Pride capsule collection and this is what I'm wearing to the club and we're ready to roll. Oh my God, the way that I could just can fall into my bed and not make it to a club is scary. Wow, I am about to pop the f off. I just got home from New York and I have a bunch of packages, so I see that one of them is from the company that I bought my faucet from. They sent a new, like, piece to put in the sink to prevent it from leaking because it's been leaking. Mind you, this is like a $500 faucet. So the piece they sent that they said I was missing was not the right size. It got stuck in this little bridge right here, and I had to like cut it in half. I'm now trying to put the sink back on, and it keeps flooding my kitchen, and is now getting in the cracks of my marble. It's the next day, and the company saw the rage I showed on Instagram <laughs> stories, which I kind of feel bad about now, and they are sending me a new faucet, and they have assured me that this never happens and all of that, so we're gonna see, and I'm gonna try and be positive, because they're a small business, and I feel bad about shitting on a small business, but like, bruh, it's an expensive faucet that I like saved up and splurged on. Anyways, I love y'all. I will see you in the next video and <sighs> I don't know what that was, but <laughs> bye.